In this part of the video, I will focus on a number of things, including establishing that outer space is a part of heaven and that planet Nibiru is located in heaven. I will also establish that the fallen angels came from heaven. According to the Bible, it provides us with the following description of Almighty God. John chapter 4 verse 24 God is a spirit. It is common knowledge amongst Jews and Christians that God the Father lives in the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is also known as third heaven, a paradise. This is confirmed in the following Bible verses. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 2 to 4 I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to third heaven. Whether it was in the body or out of the body I don't know, only God knows, but that man was caught up into paradise. Luke chapter 23 verses 39 to 43. One of the criminals hanging on the cross beside Jesus scoffed. So you're the Messiah, are you? Prove it by saving yourself and us too while you're at it. But the other criminal protested, Don't you fear God even when you have been sentenced to die? We deserve to die for our crimes, but this man hasn't done anything wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. Okay, so if there is a third heaven, then by logic, there also has to be a second heaven and a first heaven. According to the next Bible verse, it confirms that it's not possible for a flesh and blood person to enter into the kingdom of heaven, i.e. third heaven. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 50 Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Therefore, it would be logical to assume that only a spirit person of God who belongs to God can enter into third heaven. But to be more specific about the location of heaven, according to Bible scholars, 
there are three levels of heaven starting from the bottom first heaven second heaven and third heaven first heaven is the sky this is further supported by the following Bible verse Psalm 104 verse 12 the birds of heaven have their home in the branches second heaven is outer space also known as the universe this is further supported by the following Bible verses Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 19 when you look up at heaven and see the Sun the moon and stars all the forces of heaven do not be seduced into worshipping them Isaiah chapter 13 verse 10 the stars of heaven and their constellations will not show their light the rising Sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light third heaven this is the area outside the boundary of the universe where God the Father lives this is further supported by the following Bible verses Psalm 14 verse 2 Jehovah God looks down from heaven at the children of men to see if any of them understand and seek God Revelation chapter 11 verses 11 to 12 and after three and a half days of laying dead on the floor the spirit of life from God entered into the two witnesses and they stood up on their feet and they heard a great voice from heaven saying to them come up here and they ascended up to heaven 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 2 to 4 I know a man in Christ who was caught up to third heaven he was caught up to paradise we already know from modern history that a number of flesh and blood human astronauts have already entered into outer space second heaven but it is important to emphasize that outer space can not be third heaven the kingdom of God because as I have already shown in 1 Corinthians 1550 it confirms that a flesh and blood person can not enter into third heaven the kingdom of God therefore outer space must be second heaven it is also important to point out that the fallen angels mentioned in the Old Testament who had sexual intercourse with human women 
had to have been flesh and blood people. Otherwise, how could they, the fallen angels, have engaged in carnal desires and lusts of the flesh with human women? resulting in the birth of flesh and blood children called the Nephilim. In fact, the Sumerian stories about the fallen angels also appear to portray them as flesh and blood beings who fought and died in battles and they had children. Therefore, it would be logical to assume that the fallen angels had to be flesh and blood people. It is common knowledge amongst Jews and Christians that the fallen angels descended from heaven. But which level of heaven did they come from? First, second or third? Simple. The fallen angels could not have come from third heaven, the kingdom of God, because they were flesh and blood people who had sex with human women. And we already know from 1 Corinthians 15:50 50, that flesh and blood cannot enter into third heaven, the kingdom of God. We also know from ancient Sumerian and Babylonian stories that the fallen angels came from the Nibiru star system in outer space. Therefore, we must conclude that the flesh and blood fallen angels had to have come from second heaven outer space where we already know that flesh and blood people can travel to i.e. human astronauts. <laughs>